Good morning! Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are having a vlog today. It's Saturday. It is 9.47 in the a.m. And oh, my watch was telling me my battery was dead, but it's not. We have errands to run today. I went to Starbucks, got some coffee. I've already went to the Dollar Tree. Uh, one Dollar Tree on my way here. So my Dollar Tree is open at nine and Trek doesn't open till 10. And Trek is the bicycle store. See my bicycle back here? <clears throat> Taking it in for service. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm ready to ride as soon as it's, you know, the weather turns nice which in Ohio could be tomorrow, could be next week, it could be June, who knows, but I'm gonna be ready. So I'm also trying to beat like the spring rush so I can get it in, get it fixed, get it fixed up, get it out. I've had Speedy, that's her name. <coughs> I just choked on my coffee for about 10 years, nine years, something like that. I've done, you know, regular maintenance. I've replaced the wheel, the tires, not the wheels inner tubes I've had it tuned up but it needs some new brakes probably a new chain um, cleaned up look at the cables that kind of stuff so we'll see what what needs to be done when they open I'll go in and leave her here and they'll take a look so I brought her down in from the garage the other day and stripped all of the stuff accoutrement if you will off of her I have bags on the back on the front I'll give you a speedy tour when I get her back I'm not sure when that will be it could be two weeks who knows it could be a week it could be tomorrow I don't really know I'll know when I come out but I do need a new front bag that holds my phone and so it's, it's a bag that attaches to my handlebars yeah so I need that We'll see what I get when I get out or when I get in. I do need a new helmet this year too. I'm not loving my old helmet. It doesn't fit my head right. And there's nothing more aggravating than a helmet that doesn't fit your head good. Here's a fun little story. I had a great helmet, loved it. I bought it when I bought the bike. And how much, I mean, they don't wear out. The only time you really have to, I mean, I guess they might. The padding on the inside might get off your straps, but the helmet itself is fine as long as you take care of it. The only down thing is if you were ever to get into an accident or it hits the ground or whatever, you have to replace it. It's like a car seat. Now, I was going to Pelotonia, which I will have a video out for that shortly. So, and that's a bicycle ride that I do, but I'll have videos on that separately. But I was on my way at six o'clock in the morning and I always get a little anxious morning of Pelotonia. It's a 50 mile bike ride that I do once a year to raise money for cancer. So my niece drives me downtown to Columbus. I get in my bike and then she picks me up at the end. And usually it's myself and my cousin Debbie. And, um, you know, we do all that. So I was getting in the car and I was anxious and we're driving down the road and I hear crash. I left my helmet and gloves on the roof of my car. It is six o'clock in the morning and I can't ride in Pelotonia. A, I wouldn't ride without a helmet, but you are not allowed to ride without a helmet. Now back in the day, this was, this is my 11th year riding. This was probably seven years ago, six years ago. Um, the only option I had was Walmart that was open at six o'clock in the morning. So I ran in, I bought this helmet. It's fine, but I want to upgrade this year just because it doesn't fit my head great. So I had to buy a new helmet and new gloves on my way downtown. <laughs> now I'm a smart girl and I put my bag and everything in the car the night before we go. And I'll take you on a whole tour of my biking setup and all my gear and all of that that I have. Anyway, fun, fun stories. So I have from between now and spring to pick up a few new items. I've had the bike bags on here for 10 years as well, nine years, however long I've had this bike. So it's time to, you know, do the bags get worn out, the Velcro stops holding, you know, those things need to be replaced. So this is the year I've decided to do that. So we're here at Trek. 
and they open in eight minutes. I'm really warm. So it's 20 degrees outside. My coat's sitting over here. A, I don't know what I was thinking. My winter coat is white. Now, mind you, it washes up fantastic. I can't tell you how many times I've dribbled coffee down the front of me, thrown this thing in the washing machine and fluffed it to dry and then hung it the rest of the way and it the stains, it doesn't stain. It's fantastic. Bike grease is a whole nother story, guys. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not dealing with the bike grease situation. So it's also, you can't see it, but it's also still snowy on the ground. And at my condo, I don't have to shovel, we have a service. Well, since I haven't left the house, they basically plowed my car in. So I had snow all the way around it. And I think you can see a little bit back here, it's piled up. But snow's kind of piled everywhere from the last couple storms that hasn't melted. And it's trash day. Because of the holiday on Monday, trash is this morning. There was nowhere to put the trash. So it's piled up in my garage. I've been cleaning and purging and it's in front of my garage and I can't, couldn't get my bike out. So I brought the bike in the house because I wanted to wipe it down and let it fall, take everything off. And so I was carrying it out to the car because it's very, very um, lightweight. So I was carrying it to the car and I was like, girl, what are you wearing a white coat for in a snow and ice with a bike full of grease? I got it in the in my car without any issue, but then I was like really hot and I took my coat off because I'm warm right now. All right, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to talk to the folks in a couple minutes. I'm going to see what they want to do with Speedy and what it's going to cost me. See what accessories they have. I do not need any water bottles. Absolutely not. I have 100,000 water bottles. I actually threw a bunch away because Pelotonia... Besides it being this huge fundraiser, like there's eight to 10,000 riders. And on Friday night, we all get together. So if 8,000 riders showed up Friday night, that means there's 16,000 people downtown because you're, all, you're allowed to bring a guest. And they feed us and there's a party. And it's just a big to do. Well, um, we're all given usually every year a water bottle from one company or another. They pass out water bottles. So I had so many bike water bottles. I literally went through this uh, fall and I was like, girl, you don't need 25,000 water bottles. So I picked a couple that I really like. One is a Camelback, if you're a bicycler or walker or outside. The Camelback has a frozen or a freezer layer of gel that you can throw it in the freezer and it really helps on hot days to um, keep your water cold or it thaws slowly and it works so well that I've actually had to start half freezing my water and then topping it off with cold water in the morning because if not I've had situations where it was so frozen I couldn't I couldn't drink it and I was like I'm thirsty um my bike has two two water holders that's on so the frame is a v and I have a water here and a water here so I typically will put water in one and like Gatorade or noon or some type of electrolyte drink in the other so I alternate during the day because if you didn't know if you do a lot of um, exercise that you're really sweating a lot or exerting or for long periods of time for anything more than 90 minutes water's not your best friend you're losing too much salt and electrolytes so you really need like an electrolyte replacement now being on keto double that so sometimes I do double Gatorade or double Powerade or I'll like water down one. I've even been known to bring on a really hot day, I bring pickle juice with me that's frozen and I drink the pickle juice because I really need the salt. My body ex expels a lot of my electrolytes because I don't have those carbohydrates to hold on to it, I think is the premise, but whatever works for us, right? All right, enough of your morning lecture on bicycles, bicycling. And, and fitness. All right, I'm gonna go into Trek. Talk to you in a minute. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. I'm getting my coffee together in my Starbucks cup. I love this cup, guys. Cause I'm gonna run to Target. I need to go to the grocery store. I've got things to do. So right now I'm just pouring myself a cup of coffee to take with me. But I have received in the mail this portable cold brewing system by Mastermind Cold Brew. 
And it's interesting because this will make tea, um, keeps drinks cold for 24 hours, makes coffee and hot drinks. So tea, okay, okay. I was a little confused when I first got it because there's really no written directions. Um, I mean, there is on the side of the box, you know, it's sustainable and reusable. It's a 30, oh, 304 steel tumbler, easy fill lines, dual filtration system, and it's vacuum insulated. So we know these cups are going to be good. It's a little big, I will say, out of the box for my hand, but that's okay. Um, it comes in black. I don't know if it comes in any other colors. I haven't really checked the website. So on here is your filter. And at the bottom, there's a marked line. I guess you would put your tea leaves here. Um, here from like a light coffee or a weaker coffee all the way up if you want it super strong. And then the neat thing about this is it screws into the lid, right? So you gotta line it up good. Screws into the lid and then this whole thing drops into your cup. So I'll show you, but let's fill some coffee here. So I have my spoon. I mean, I don't know how much, and you can also make hot coffee in this. So if you wanna make, like I will tell you when I go on a road trip, I will absolutely make hot coffee in here or cold brew for the way, you know, and then I'll have it in the car. I think it says 12 hours for cold brew and like 15 minutes for um, hot coffee. So I filled it halfway in between. So like right, about right here. Now I'm gonna set it down on the counter and try to get this lid on correctly. Cause that is the one issue that I was having is getting this lid to go on when I was playing with it earlier. Or for the lid to go on straight because it doesn't tend to wanna go on straight. I'm not sure if I'm doing something incorrect. I mean, I feel like I've screwed things on before. Well, it's not on there correctly straight. Oh, I guess you have to like muscle it. Okay, it seems to be on there pretty tight. So it's on here, you just, and it like takes it down. And there is a line in there, how much water. Now it's bubbling. So I'm assuming, yeah, the coffee's trying to rise to the surface. So I wonder if it would have been more helpful if I wet the coffee grounds first. I don't know guys, I'm just trying this out with you. It's a little messy, but that's okay. Cold brew is messy. So, yeah, it's doing its thing. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge. Oh, I got crazy here this morning. But, you know, it's Sunday. And I like that you can drink out of here. It has a lid. And the lid, it doesn't look like the coffee grounds or tea grounds or whatever. I bet you can even put like fruit in here. Although the acid might affect the filter. I don't know. Let's not go making up things, Lori. So it definitely, that's the coffee. It's like until it saturates, it grows to the top. But I don't know. We're gonna have to watch it and see. We'll check on it when I get home from running errands and see if the coffee has gotten wet yet. All right, let's go shopping. So before we head out the door, let's talk about my Dollar Tree athletic socks for a second. I'm trying them on. I like them. They're not tight like the decorative socks, you know, those cute ones with all the prints. They are really too small for my foot. I try not to wear those because I don't like socks that like suffocate my toes. I like a little room. 
um, enjoying the hug. Now, it's not as tight here as like some of my more expensive fitness socks for the arch support but it's not bad either i mean i can definitely feel it um some of my more expensive socks that i use when i like do a lot of walking or if i'm uh, riding my bike have definitely more elastic in the arch but again not bad this is the reason i bought them i love the high and i'll show you over here I cannot stand my socks when they slide into my shoe. Oops, sorry, slide down into my shoe in the back. So that's nice and high. The quality is decent. I mean, I I would say I could get a summer out of them. I did put this shoe on already because this is the shoe that I have big toe issue with. I don't like them tight. Um, I wear these or these Asics are an eight and a half wide. I don't always wear a wide shoe, but I do definitely have a wider toe box. And they fit me nice. So I'm between an eight and a half and a nine. I would say if you were even a nine and a half, you could wear these. They are a dollar for one pair, but I think they're definitely worth it. I'm gonna buy a couple more pair for summer because I do enjoy how thin they are. You know, I don't want too thick of a sock come summertime. So yeah, these were a definite win at the Dollar Tree. And like I said, I mean, I'll get good wear out of them. They may not last forever. But again, I was paying $12 for three pair. So $3 for three pair is fine with me. Alrighty, let's, now let's go buy groceries. I'm back from the Target. And I'm going to be preparing some stuff for dinner. It's about 1030 in the morning. But I want to show you what I got at Target and why I love going on Sunday morning. So this is Harvest Land Chicken Breast. No hormone or steroids added. This was $7.49 a pound. So this is a little over a pound, $8.99, $5 coupon. It just says I need to use it by today or freeze it. Okay, I'll use it today. Then I picked up some more sweetener, my Trivia. I love this. I like using this in my coffee instead of the packets as much just because I feel like the packet is, you know, wasteful. Um, I grabbed a couple smart waters to drink, but I'm also keeping these water bottles. Um, as uh, soon as the weather turns a little nicer, I plan on starting my walking outside and these are perfect. I like the sport cap. I'll just bring it home, wash it out and it'll fit in hopefully a bag I just ordered. I, I always, I always fumble with what to do with my stuff when I'm out walking on our trails or anywhere with my phone and keys minimally. Typically, I bring a keto snack and water. And then speaking of keto snacks, I picked up some palm crisps. I enjoy these. I need to get to Costco and get the bigger pack um, of the wisps, but for now. Oh, and I got some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, um, no sugar added. For that, oh, let me pull my sleeves up here. So this is my chicken breast. It's very fresh. Yes, it's user freeze by today, but I'm using it today, so I'm not I'm not concerned. I'm making my version, or it's not my version, the keto version or the homemade version of um, Chick Fil A nuggets. And the big thing is, Chick Fil A when they make their nuggets, they um, or their chicken is marinated in pickle juice. If you didn't know that. So I'm just cutting them into like, you know, nugget sizes and I'm putting them in my glass storage container. I mean, I don't know what a nugget size is, a couple bites. And then I'm gonna get my food processor out for the breading and I'm going to um, grind up pork rinds. So later I still need to go to Aldi and get more pork rinds, but the plain ones, but I'm gonna grind up a couple bags when I get my food processor out and um, just have it. It's great for breading. It's great for um, topping. Like if I want to make a keto mac and cheese, let's just say, it's nice. Pork rinds, they don't, they get a little soggy, but they don't dissolve. So they, and they will crisp up. I'll spray this with some olive oil spray or some type of spray and it crisps up. 
So that is always helpful. And I try to get these as evenly shaped, you know, size as possible. Now, chicken on my chicken mat, everything goes in the dishwasher. I don't mess around with the poultry. I'll use my wooden cutting board for like vegetables and stuff, but just as a, a general rule of thumb, you don't want to cut poultry or meat on your wood. Okay. So I have everything in here and I got my pickle jar out. That's it guys. I'm just putting pickle juice on my chicken. And I saved my pickle juice. There's pickles in here. Um, sorry, my phone was telling me that I was running out of battery life. I saved my pickle juice, I don't throw it away. So if I get new pickles, if I eat these, then I'll put this juice in a jar, keep it in my fridge. I'm not gonna waste a ton of pickle juice, so just gonna do this. And then when I go by the fridge, I just give it a good shake every so often. I'm really enjoying that I switched over to mostly glass. I do have some plastic. I have my original Tupperware stuff that I have for my work lunches that's put away. And, but I'm trying to use more glass. So there's that, but it's in here. And then every once in a while, I'll just come by, give it a good shake. Um, before I crunch up, my pork rinds, I'll go by, I'm probably gonna go buy like five bags to grind up. They do break up rather small. Um, and then I have a jar that I'll put the pork rinds dust, it's called, in, and keep that in my refrigerator. Um, but like I said, if I'm gonna get my food processor out, I'm gonna grind up a bunch of pork rinds. And I just use the plain, and then when it's time, I add Parmesan cheese to it, and then I will just take these out of here. I will toss them in the pork rind dust and put them in the oven. So that's definitely going to be a meal. And I also have in my refrigerator that I took out yesterday, that I'll have to cook today some chicken wings, which is fine. Both of these will get eaten during the week, so I'm not really worried about that. I have a my keto snack bucket in my pantry. So these go in there. I'm starting to collect, I say collect, but I'm starting to pick up when I see it, some keto snack food for myself to have when I go biking, hiking, walking, exercise of any kind. Um, this is gonna be one of the snacks I have. I picked up some nut butter, just some plain almond butter. I picked up, um, I have some beef sticks. I'm gonna grab some more beef and cheese sticks and then I will also get, it's on the way, I've ordered it. They're called Perfect Keto Bars, and we're going to try those and see what they do to my blood sugar. Um, and it will be kind of a good test, but not necessarily an accurate test. I will only be eating these keto bars um, when I exercise, and exercise tends to lower your blood sugar. I need them for when I ride long long bike rides more than 90 minutes I will need to eat one and if I'm hiking or walking out on our trails here in Columbus I'll need one with me two for two reasons one um it's a good replenisher but two I and I've mentioned before I've had a gastric sleeve so I can never eat enough at one time to fill myself so I need to have things with me you know that are pretty good this is 11 grams of fat, one carb, no sugars, and 13 protein. So it's not the best macro, but it'll do in a pinch. I can also grind these up as a breading, just as a record, but I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese with the regular parm. But yeah, so we're gonna do that. This is not ideal for me, but you know, it's always nice to have just a little something, you know, sugar-free or no sugar added. So that's it, that's everything I bought today. I'm gonna get this in the fridge so it marinates up, I can't wait. And I'm gonna make buffalo chicken wings too. I'll bring you along. Chicken wings are done, chicken wings are done. All right, so I just baked my chicken wings in the oven. Um, you could air fry them, you could deep fry them. Um, I'm gonna wet dress mine. 
And all that means is I'm gonna toss them in some Frank's Red Hot and butter, have some for lunch, and then I have a container to store the rest in. Now, um, I had a recipe that I actually did before where I toss these in some like spices and seasoning and a little baking soda and it made them much more crisp, but I'm okay with that. I'll just have them like they are. Let me just put that here. Now this is Frank's Red Hot with two tablespoons of butter. I would say probably, I don't know, a quarter of a cup of Frank's. It's really to your taste. The butter tames it down and it's very keto friendly. Mm. So, all I'm gonna do is toss them. Now, I could do just whatever I'm eating, that would be fine too, but I don't mind having them sit and marinate in this in the fridge. And then when I wanna heat them up again, I put them in the oven and I'm literally just tossing them. All right? So you want a big bowl for this. If you don't want to be fancy, you can just stir them. It's a little extra sauce, but it's really cheap and it's okay. I'm gonna let them sit here for a minute. You could also throw them back in the oven if you want them a little more dry, but I do not. And that's what they're gonna look like. And these are just chicken wings, buffalo style chicken wings. So that would be lunch or dinner for a few days and then later I will um, show you how I'm gonna do the chicken fingers that'll be dinner or lunch for a few days and I just liked I like being able to get everything um, prepared and ready and then I'll just these are not hot I did let them sit out for a little bit and that's how I'll store them in the fridge. I'll eat a couple today for lunch. And then the rest, you know, when I want to heat them up, I'll either put them in the oven or I'll put them in the microwave. Super easy. I love cook ahead food. And that's mine for lunch today. Time for keto chicken nuggets, friends. So what I did is, and I didn't have a bag uh, container big enough, but this is five bags of pork rinds from Aldi that I put in my food processor made like breadcrumbs. I used some of this Parmesan cheese and I have olive oil spray. So I marinated my chicken tender, or chicken, if you will, in pickle juice. Sorry, I've got oil, olive oil now all over my stove. I covered my pan in foil and I did spray it with olive oil. I do have silicone bacon sheets, but this is going to be kind of messy for those. And I just dumped my chicken in here. I didn't measure. I just eyeballed how many, how much pork rinds. I added some cheese. And now I'm just kind of stirring it up. Trying not to make a mess. Um, to get it to stick to the wet chicken. I did let the chicken drain in a colander just for a few minutes. Because there was an awful lot of... Um, pickle juice. So what I like to do now that I have it kind of, you know, on there, I just pick them up, kind of squeeze them a little bit. You just really want the breadcrumbs to, to stick. The best you can. I know some people I think use like eggs and stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to consider these like a lightly coated and I'm just putting them on the pan. The oven has been heated, if you just heard it, up to uh, 350 degrees. You wanna give these plenty of room. And I might sprinkle some of them just with a little bit of extra pork rind. Now the pork rinds themselves will have natural fat in them, uh, but I will give everybody just a little, and the cheese as well. But I'll give everybody a little white spray with olive oil just to kind of give it a little bit of a crunch you know we're going for a texture that's not natural to this we're asking <laughs> pork rinds to be like a floured breadcrumb so we got to give it all the help we can i probably used a little too much of my pork rind mixture I, it's fine a bag of pork rinds at aldi i think is like 89 cents or something 
So I'll have plenty to keep in my refrigerator for any other breading project I would like to do. All right, so yeah, I had a fair amount extra in here. Let's just sprinkle a little bit, shall we? I don't even know if it'll stick, but whatever. Okay, so we did that. I'm just rinsing my hand off. Okay. We all heard the oven is up to temp. So then I'm just gonna take this olive oil spray and just kind of give everybody a little coating of olive oil, just to kind of help it crisp up. And then I'm gonna stick this in the oven and bake it. I don't know how long, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> till it's done. It honestly just depends on the size of your chicken pieces. But I'll show you when it comes out. We have chicken. It's about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. Like I said, it's gonna be lightly breaded. If you would have, or if I would have put everything in like an egg wash, I think the breading would have stuck more, but I'm perfectly happy with this. Um, yeah, it's cooked, it's moist, it's delicious. And now I have a week's worth of chicken nuggets. Let me bring you up here. We'll talk, shall we? Yeah, they're delicious. Um, I cut one open, let it cool. It's very moist and tender. Um, part of that, they're speedy, part of that is from the pickle juice. Now, I will say, I love pickle juice. If you're not a huge fan of the pickle juice, I would either not marinate it in that or less time. I left mine for several hours, but mm, so good. Now, moist, tender. I'm not getting like a crunchy coating like you would with a fried chicken nugget because there's really no batter on here. It's just some pork rinds and some cheese. But I mean, honestly, it's delicious. Mm hmm. A little crunch. Mm, so good. But I can really taste the pickle juice, which I love. I'm very happy with that. I don't even need to dip it in anything. I have some asparagus already cooked in the fridge, so that will be dinner tonight. And then, like I said earlier, I have chicken wings and I have this for the week. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here for the night. I'm gonna do a dedicated video for the bike and everything that was done and all my accessories. I think I'm waiting for, I ordered the one bag that's going to be coming from Amazon. I should get it by Tuesday. And then I will record the video. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a good one. And if you get a chance, make this chicken. Oh, so good. All right, bye. Have a good one.